Okay. It's, uh, we made it. We are, we are fully packed up. We are ready to go. The van is, I don't know if you can see inside of there, but it's packed to the max. That was the most, still organized. Still organized. Um, that was the most hectic 24 to 48 hours pre-travel I think that we've had and we've had some pretty hectic ones but um, I'm not even wearing a shirt because I'm sweating so profusely as we're packing up. Uh, we are getting in the van, we're going to drive, we have 12 hours to get to Salt Lake City to pick up the child. There's no footage of us packing up the van because we were just going too hard on it. See you guys on the road. Okay, so we are headed to the shop that fixes sprinters. The van is having some issues with the transmission. We're supposed to leave tomorrow, so we gotta pick up our new puppy on Friday. I didn't tell anybody what we were picking up yet. I just said we were gonna get a thing on the way home. We gotta pick the thing up on Friday. It can't wait, and the van is in questionable shape. Hopefully this expert at the mechanic shop can fix it. We're gonna leave the van with him and run home because it's like our only chance to exercise today. All right, van is dropped off. Hopefully we see it again someday. That was 56 minute run, 12K. Just gonna sit around and wait for the shop to call. All right, out here it is. Um, it's like six o'clock in the morning. Got to shoot Heather's TT bike. Last night we did a special thing for Rudy Project, shooting her, um, shooting a helmet. And this morning, doing the TT bike. Last night, we also, when she got back from a long ride, shot her Dark Matter. So, knocking out all the bike features because uh, I'm not going to be able to make any more videos for her, obviously, while we're. Um, up in Portland for a bit uh, until the next time we head to Bend. I think this, this is confusing me. This is this is going to be on here and here. This is the part I've never done. So we are on such a tight timeline. I am hanging out here, waiting for the van to be ready. So that the second they call me, I can pick it up and go over to Heather's, pack it up, and make it to Salt Lake City by tomorrow morning. It's only 12 and a half hours. And it's currently one o'clock in the afternoon. No problem. There's no footage of us packing up the van because we were just going too hard on it. See you guys on the road. Made it to checkpoint number one. We're in Flagstaff, 7,000 feet. I'm getting some gas, and Paula is getting Jersey Mike's. 
forgot how much I love Flagstaff. The last time I was here, I like had just suffered heat stroke at an IT race in Dallas, Texas, and so I didn't have the best experience, but I really did like the town. I think we should come back here for some altitude training. Maybe not this year, but next year. Shot. Are bathrooms open these days? Uh, for emergency use, is it an emergency? When is it not an emergency to go to the bathroom on a road trip? Okay, uh, we are here in Santa Quinn, Utah now. We are about an hour from getting to our destination. paula has been driving. I've been editing video like furiously as fast as I can because it's now Friday. Um, vlogging needs to go up on Sunday. Paula's currently going pee. Her and the puppy are gonna fit in real close because I hear the puppies need to go pee about every 30 minutes when you first get there. Who are you talking to? I guess we haven't revealed his name yet. Have we even told the story of how the puppy came to be? Is that for later? Okay, so I'm just gonna really quickly explain how the puppy came to be. Um, we have wanted a puppy for a really long time. We've been looking for about six months, but never like quite found the right one or quite had the right timing. But the COVID situation has kind of allowed us to have a bit more flexibility. And um, actually someone on Instagram who watches our vlogs, posted a video of him watching our vlog with his dog. We both replied and said, your dog is adorable, what kind is it? We want to get the same kind. And he said, she's a rescue, but we got her from Salt Lake, Salt Lake City. Apparently a lot of dogs in Salt Lake City go up for adoption after like a couple months when the families get them, realize they can't look after them. And so they put us in touch with uh, their friend in Salt Lake City who's been on the hunt for, for us kind of have to be ready like right at the moment they appear to go get them because they go so quickly if they're really nice dogs. So when this puppy came up that we're going to get right now, I said I'll put a deposit down, I'll like do anything, I want that dog. So we will, we've been looking at German short hair pointers and the dog we're getting is a short hair pointer wire hair mix. And he's 12 weeks old so he's a little bit house trained but still young enough that we can kind of train him ourselves. So that's the story behind Flynn. We're so grateful for our new friend in Salt Lake City who helped us find him. Without Instagram, we would have never found Flynn. So, uh, oh, Flynn's the dog. Flynn's the dog. <laughs>
<laughs> We're naming our puppy Flynn. We like it, it actually. We st we really love that name, and we like just looked up what it meant just for fun, and it means son of the redhead one. So we're like, okay, we're hot. We have to name it Flynn. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, that's one hundred percent right. We're about like five minutes from the puppy's house, and the van started smelling like diesel. So we pulled over. Apparently, there's diesel leaking everywhere. I'm losing my mind. Oh my god. This van. The van just started smelling like diesel fuel. Whatever the repair that they did at the shop was not sufficient and the fuel pump is... It's such a long story, but the van is like needs it to be towed and I think we're gonna be stuck in Salt Lake City for several days. I'm headed to a, a rental car agency right now trying to I don't know, at least get us mobile so we can get the dog from the lady who is holding on to him right now. Can, seriously cannot believe what a shit show this day has turned into, or day, three days, like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to, there's no way we're putting out a video about this. I think we're gonna be stuck in Salt Lake for like three days at least. Okay, uh, morning is, it's Saturday, um, I don't know what I said last night, but we got, I finally heard back from the people, the new van shop, and they couldn't figure everything out, they don't work on Saturday because of the coronavirus, and, um, no auto shop ever works on Sunday, so, we, we're stuck here in, um, Salt Lake City, there are definitely worse places to be stuck until at least Monday. So, I uh, I have not edited any of the vlog. I'm gonna start, like start cranking through that right now, and we'll see you guys. Um, Can I say something? Flynn slept like an angel, right on the bed. Do we <laughs> wait, three three peas a night? Is it? <laughs> no, he had two peas in the night, but he just he stood up, let us know he had to go out. Yeah. It's just a pain in the butt because we're at a hotel. Oh, good boy! We gotta encourage him to be. A, he's a good boy when he's in the crate. Well, he and crate. now he's out of the crate, so enough of that. Yeah, we will. Uh, but he literally slept all night. It was it was amazing. We'll see. No. We'll see you guys next week for the continuation That's of this bad. saga. That's bad. That's it. No. Oh